So, I thought I wasn't going to be able to run a Pendulum Z version 1, because back when Bandai released them to various sources, I assumed, because they did this with the last release of a digital pet they did, that they were going to put it on Premium Bandai US, and they did not, so I just missed out on it. Or so I thought. This was so generously sent in by Vince Valorn, to whom this series is pretty much wholly dedicated to, because without them, we would not have been able to do this. So, again, thank you, Vince. I'm just gonna do that thing where I pop it open. Wouldn't call myself an unboxing channel, especially because then I think I would be held to the standards of unboxing channels and <laughs> see, I'm not very good at it. I kind of just crumpled the box there. <laughs> there goes the resale value. Not that I ever resell my, my V pets. How do you, people who intend to resell your virtual pets later, how do you handle this part? This part always gets caught. You know, to me, it doesn't matter so much because yeah, see that? Oh, that's like a minus three. That's like a, that just took it from like a, a, a perfect, like very good condition to like a good condition, I think. I don't know, like I said, I don't know anything about unboxing or reselling virtual pets. <gasps> Look at them. So beautiful. This is the Deep Savers version and the pattern on all three of them are great, but this particular mixture of colors is just mm, delicious. It is varying hues between blue and green and obviously varying uh, darknesses and lightnesses, but it's just, just the, the hues. Can you see it? I feel like my camera is can't do it justice because this lighter blue here that my fingernails right below is is actually lighter a little lighter in real life Eh, don't worry about it just trust me when i say and i guess trust your own eyes as well that this is quite a gorgeous device i'm just going to start it and then we can go ahead and look at the instructions i guess <gasps> pendulum z 2.0 wait 2.0 uh, I, I guess if someone wants to explain that to me, please feel free to, because this is definitely from Wave 1 and not Wave 2. Wave 2 has white buttons and a, a bit of a lighter blue in their background. Well, maybe this is the second time it's been turned on and I didn't know about it. Well, maybe this is 2.0, as in the developers are being very honest about how many times they had to make this to make it work. I don't know. I'm not going to dig too deep into it. There's the egg. I have no idea what's going to hatch. I know some of you out there have already had your devices for a little while, and you may be going, Oh, I know Kakuto's going to get this thing. Yawn, I'll be back once this first runs over. And frankly, that's totally fine and fair. Uh, but don't spoil it for me, because so far, I like the specklediness of it. We might get a, maybe, maybe a special new Gerald. I have barely even looked at the roster for the new Digimon that are in this device because just just for those of you who have not heard of the Pendulum Z, this is not some anniversary device. I mean, yeah, sure, the shell is the same one from like the old Pendulums, but this is a new device, okay, with new mons, not some remake. It's got new features in it, and I'm excited to experience every single one. I guess we could go ahead and get a little bit of a preview of what's in there by going through our little paper here, eh? Yes. Yeah, I'm not really sure I'd call that much of an instruction booklet. I mean, it's it's not a, a booklet either. Okay, it's showing me how to do the pendulum. That's good. I appreciate knowing how to do the pendulum. How to reset... Uh, Digimon birthday. Oh, speaking of which... Digimon birthday! Here we go! Oh my god. They kind of look like a poop that was pinched off maybe a little too soon. That's not nice. Okay, they look like a Hershey's Kiss. Which I guess also kind of looks like a Digimon poop. Either way, their name is Subumon. They have such a cute little face. I love their little head dongle. Here, let's go ahead and feed you. <gasps> Gorgeous. Absolutely. Look at that. Oh my god, they've got the little the little kitty mouth, jowl mouth thing. You know what I'm talking about. I think, unless that's supposed to be a button nose. Don't. I'm just going to live in a world where I assume that that's them eating like a little kitty mouth or whatever. Okay, so similar to the DMX, each feeding is half a heart. Good. Let's see about strength, because I don't know. Oh god, here we go. Oh wow. Oh, that pendulum feels really soft. Sorry, was I not was I not supposed to be do done? Oh, sorry. Okay, it, it, it's um. Sorry, I got the, I got so used to the pendulum, uh, the version twentieths, where you're only supposed to shake like eight or ten times. But I, that actually seemed like kind of what they wanted. They made the big face. I was a little flustered, so I didn't see it. But yeah, there, there was a big face in there, I guess. Okay, hold on. Let me try that again. And while I'm doing this, let me just tell you. Can you hear this? I'm sure that you can hear this. Uh, basically, the pendulum that's actually inside of this thing, and, and I hear with these new devices that they're they're for show slash for tactile feedback. Um, that is to say, there's not a pendulum inside these supposedly. I don't know about this one in particular, but I believe the I believe the pendulum version 20 is were rumored at least to actually have an accelerometer inside, which is just basically a more advanced version of just a basic mechanical pendulum. Um, but they include the clicky bit in there, just you know. For so, for so it'll feel nice and, and cool. Let's see, are you, are you all nice and full? Yeah. Oh, very good. Oh, there's Joe Gressing in here too. Neat. Although, I don't have another one of these devices, so I don't know if I'll be able to Joe Gress them. I did get a full set of Wave 2s because those popped up on Premium Bandai US for some reason. 
Go figure. They are just disorganized, I guess, and messy. And that's, uh, you know, I'm the victim here. All right. Thank God for Vince Valorn. Oh, but right, the pendulum. The pendulum is actually reminding me a lot of the Arukun Des, the Dragon Quest slime pedometer pets pendulum, because it has this very soft kind of uh, feels like there's this rubber padding in there. So it's not just this hollow, sharp clack, clack, clack. It's more of like a clunk, clunk, clunk. And it's so, it's my favorite kind of pendulum. It's my favorite kind of sound. Okay, I'm going to first, I'm just going to show you an example. I'm going to shake this guy first, right? Listen. Hear that? Nice and soft and, and kind of muted, right? Here's here's the Pendulum version 20th, which is based off of the old version's Pendulum. Can you hear that immediate difference? Can you hear that clickety-clack versus the nice little soft? Oh, that is beautiful. So already it gives me, ooh, our very first Pendulum Z poop. How exciting, how absolutely exciting. So the pendulum in this is already giving me that, you know, that's like a plus two for me, okay? This thing was already like, I mean, you know, maybe I'm a little biased being the unofficial official digital pet boy for Bandai, but I already came into this giving it a 10 out of 10. That's gonna be a plus two points though, you know? So now it's a 12 out of 10, I think that's normal. Yeah, you can't send a baby off to the thing, because that, off to the, you know, the tournament or the arena or whatever they want to call it in this one, that's the thing I'm most curious about, because it's also the thing I know the least about. How do they run that in here? What What's the system? They've also brought back the size system for this, so I'm I'm very curious. Let's have a look at our library. Supermon, and then do the, how many pets are in this device anyway? Wait a second. Oh, cool. Do I, like, already have most of these unlocked? Because usually your first run is very linear, because what your Digimon can evolve into is more dependent on what in your library you have unlocked. But here... Two, three, four, five, six... No, actually, no. That jumped seven, eight. So there's a couple missing. Let's see. Okay, there's a few missing there. All right, so there are some you do need to unlock, but it looks like more of the library is available at the beginning, I think, compared to, say, the DMX, which I'm happy about. Makes things a little less linear when you first start. And they might as well make it this way, right? Because ideally, if Bandai's doing their job and marketing this properly, hopefully, this will be more of a social device than previous releases. So with the DMX, you didn't have to worry about being like, oh, my friends got this one. Oh, I got this one also. Well, that's kind of lame. Maybe Bandai is giving us the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they're acknowledging us and they're saying, hey, we know that you all have these devices. Maybe you all want something different to grow into for the first time. Although there is something fun about hatching an egg at the same time with your friends and then having the exact same baby and raising the same thing. I guess it's kind of human. Is that my human? I think it's my human instincts, actually. Man, the screen is so crisp. There's such contrast. Here, let's do this again. God, it feels so good. I'm just gonna shake it. Huh. So there's a dot, 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 bidu, and I... You know, that's just that's just great. You know, some feedback, some timing, because with the pendulums and the version 20th, they don't give you a, a timer to gauge. You just kind of have to get a sense of the timing and count it in your head, right? Sorry, I have once again completely ignored their big freaking face because I'm trying to focus on how to make a good shake. You know what I mean? You know, you know how that is when you're trying to shake your baby just the right way so you don't look at their face ever? But we're going to do it this time. Okay, here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real conscious. Here we go. Focusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their tongue lolling off to the side is a nice touch. I, I gotta give the animators props there. Nothing will ever quite match the absolute power, the raw energy of Dodo Guremon. You know, the... the, the fa Nothing will ever match that. Oh, what are you doing? Pooping again, are you? Okay, well, they're gonna change here in a little bit, assuming that this goes at the same pace as the other devices recently released, so we're just gonna set them down. And before we go off to see what the community's up to, I would like to share with you why I've been gone all this time. If you're just tuning into the series or this is the first time you've seen me, you won't know what the heck I'm talking about. But those who've been around for a bit will know that like back in June, I was like, hey guys, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. And then I was gone for like four months. And <laughs> this, is, this is why, okay? I've been making my own cosmetics line and I launched my own proper freaking website a couple days ago. So that's why I'm, I'm here now doing these doing these runs now because I've been making lotion bars and lip balms. Okay, they're at moodybomb.com. I have made them formulated specifically for people who don't like icky, weighing heavy on the skin bombs. Here, have a look at one of them. This is one of my favorites. This is the Sad Bomb Bar. And you can see that Moody's just right there, just ready to help you feel sad if you're feeling sad. I mean, it smells good though. It's like... Yeah, kind of smells like sadness, but in a fun way. That was my that was my goal. It's just to, you know, if you wake up and you feel a certain way and you don't really necessarily want to be made to feel worse in that way, but you want something to kind of show people how you feel, that was the plan. Okay, so the exposure here is a bit bright, so you can't see too well, but this is pouty. 
Oh, that one smells good too. It's not just lemon. I know what you're thinking. It's actually lemon and like green apple and a couple other little notes that are proprietary secrets of moodybomb.com. But yeah, lip balm's the same way. They've got the same scents, but they're formulated with different oils, different butters. So that way they're, it's a little more heavy because obviously if you put on lip balm, you're wanting something to protect your lips, but not too heavy. I hate it when I put on lip balm and it feels like it's crawling up my skin. You know what I mean? So I formulated, I've been working on these products for literally months. This is like a half a year in the making, this whole situation, and it's out now. And right now, all the way through December 9th, there is a 30% off sale to celebrate the site's official opening. So if you're interested, get them now while they're 30% off. Okay, now I'm gonna be a real 90s and do a catchphrase, I guess. I know it's not really cool, but I just kinda, you know, I'm a 90s kid, I guess. So I'm gonna say moodybomb.com. It's skincare with feeling. <laughs> okay, for real, let's go say hi to everyone. <gasps> oh my God, wait, oh, it's happening already. Sorry, I was going over to say hi to everybody, and then Supamon decided they had other plans. What? Hopamon? Sorry, I, I got distracted for half a second. I'm very excited today. I'm, I've seriously been like, oh, it's Upamon. Wait a second, you're not new. Well, I guess they don't all have to be new. Yeah, it's Upamon. I remember them from Digimon Adventure Season 2. Not that I ever finished that series because I kind of got bored and I wasn't really invested. Sorry, I was trying to clean your poop, but I just realized that, yeah, accidentally, I, I can totally go here and see what that's all about. Oh, it's built just like the DMXs, huh? The boss is Mochimon. Oh my god, it's babies fighting. Okay, sorry, we'll come back to that. I, I just wanna, sorry, real quick. Oh, are you okay, actually, come to think of it? Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay, real quick, I'll, I'll be right back, I swear. Elise is two very cool looking Mushi Kings. And by the way, like the black with the way that shiny kind of coat actually literally looking like a beetle shell is just, it's just, uh, ooh, so good. She, uh, sorry, uh, reverence. She says, bye bye baby beetles. You know, the HHH -H -H or XXX, as you might interpret it, means that they are done. They are gone, they are leaving. They don't seem to die, because as you can see, they're. that's actually just them flying away. Hopefully not flying away to die. I'm just going to assume they're flying away to, you know, live in Beetle Paradise, Beetle Valhalla. Valshe Valshella, because beetle shells. I don't know, I'm not Norse. Sneaks aptly proclaimed, may I have your attention please? Because they have Mommy Tyrannomon on the Pendulum X and they look really, really deadly, actually. You know, maybe it's just because yesterday I literally saw a guy wearing a mask that looked like that, just walking around on the street and I was worried he was gonna stab me. He didn't, by the way. I stand and live and breathe before you to this very day, but it looked kind of like that. So yeah, small but ferocious. What a special, special boy. And then Nizuma said, I want to take a Q-tip to that screen so bad, and to be fair, that's every virtual pet screen. You know what I mean? Like, unless you're seriously going into the bathroom, getting out your little Q-tip, right? And you're just like putting makeup on your pet, you know? No, we don't do that, okay? We don't put eyeliner on Mommy Tyranum on the perfect and it's also VPET screens are just dusty all the time, so don't worry about it, Sneaks. Beats has had their Pendulum Zs for a bit, and this is actually the end to their quote-unquote first run, they say. I don't know what Digimon these are. I'm just not familiar with them. They are all new Digimon, although these might be Digimon that are pre-existing, but I, I don't know them. I don't know the roster, and that's fine. That's fine. In fact, I prefer it. I like marveling at them like some cool upperclassman coming down the high school hallways and going, wow, who's that? You know, I, I'm just going to keep that energy going while I'm enjoying this thing for the first time. Can I see your eating face again? So I wasn't... Oh, okay. No, that's fair. I, I do want to see your big face, though. Let's see if we can get a... Okay, that was like 17, so I don't know if that's going to be a big one. Yeah, that, that seems kind of weak. Oh, and yet I am graced with the Upamon face anyway. That's Upamon. I actually have an Upamon plush around here somewhere. Where's my Upamon plush? Okay, I couldn't find Upamon, but I did find Podomon. And also I found one of my Angel Tamagotchi plushies. And then and then also my Chow, some of my favorite virtual pets that have ever existed. Uh, by the way, just in case there's like an unofficial ch Chilling with Kakuja wiki out there. Uh, yeah, those are some of my favorite. You yeah, just in case you're curious. Just, just in case you're curious. So the plan is, I'm going to show off them fighting tomorrow. I'm going to run through it a bit myself off screen just to make sure that I understand the ins and outs of it. But because before I claim that this is just the same as DMX's whole arena thing, I'd like to give it a good old, a good old playthrough, a good, a good old once or twice or thrice over. You know what I mean? So how have you all been out there with your pendulum Z's? Those of you who got them, what are you running? What are you getting? I mean, obviously we can see inside of our Chilling with V Pets Discord channel, but I also like to check the comments on YouTube. So yeah, let me know. What do you think? Also tomorrow, I'm going to show you some cool Digimon devices that Sneak sent in that I'm excited to feature on the channel as well. I'm just going to do that tomorrow because I, I feel like we're a bit out of time today. So that's all for today, you know, as I say. Thanks for hanging out, everybody, and thanks, patrons, for supporting this channel, especially Shifter, Dogtrainer89, and Kitsy Fluff. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one!